All right, so in exercise 3E, we'll be conducting an analysis of the profile of our payments found in, in our accounts payable ledger. Uh, the objective is to gain a profile of the number and value of payments by creating numeric bands to identify any unusual trends and to determine the high value transaction for those extractions. Uh, so in essence, we will be creating, a, uh, we will stratify the payment amounts in, in suitable bands, I uh, will say zero to 10,000. We'll actually look at the fact that there's an internal, internal control that was implemented by the CEO, apparently, that says that uh, every every transaction above eighty thousand dollars has to have an authorization by by him. So, having said that, let's go ahead and get started with that uh, assignment. Making sure that I uh, pasted my title, um, and then I'll come back for the screen. All right, let's open up our idea software, and the way we can um, do this is by opening the assignment. Uh, we do have the accounts payable uh, section and we are going to do an analysis by going to the analysis tab and this is going to be an analysis that is under the category categorize and it's called stratification. So we're going to conduct stratification of which field. So we can we can stratify it not by a supplier number uh, we could do it by, I mean, we could apply certain fields at this point. So let's do it by amount. And uh, it, it will say which which field do you want to total under. So let's go ahead and total under amount. And then we will stratify also by amount. And we will increment, uh, use increments of 0 to 10,000. Right? So let's go ahead and use the upper limit as 10,000. And then if we click on all of them, it will create automatically 40, 60, 70, 80, and so forth. So by clicking uh, on all of these, uh, it will create those. So once we get to 90 to 100,000, let's switch this to 150,000. So we're switching the vans, and that's normally done as well. Oh, I went a little bit too far. Um, so I do 150,000, and then from 150,000 to... Let's just do it to 200,000, one, two, three, boom. And this is going to be called the stratification. Uh, and by creating a result, we will be creating an, an actual database. All right, so now let's press OK and run it. And we can see that we can toggle between the, stratis, um, the stratification that was created. We have about 280 records of checks that are under $10,000 and so forth, we find about 84 um, transactions with quite a bit of money actually under this category. This this is kind of uh, worrisome. Uh, it's just a lot of money under that category. And it happens to be right below the $80,000 threshold. So I would want to investigate a little further. further. So um, anyway, so you can also switch to the... Um, the, the chart view and you can always make this uh, look different. You can change the colors. You can make it look 3D. You can uh, have it display the field statistics um, by using the legend box or not. Um, and you can look at um, what else should, you know, if I wanted to show the grid on the bottom, I don't like that actually. Um, now these are some of the settings we have, the number of records. So this is the number of records. If I don't want to have uh, increments of 20, then I would change that. I would, you know, I can get rid of the labels or not, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that can be modified quite a bit. So what does the assignment ask us to do? It says that uh, we want to make sure that we are displaying field statistics, right? So this is done by going to um, to be the field student, left click on the stratum to highlight it. Um, oh. So if you want to look at the records once again, sorry, I lost my chain of thought. Um, you left click, not right click, 
let, right click will give you color, uh, etc. things like that. Uh, we may want to look at uh, the labels, et cetera. This may, may I, I actually like this instead. Um, we want to show the legend box. In fact, I would want to show this here. Uh, so let me see the X's. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Mm, no, I don't like it like that. Let's go ahead and not show the labels. Um, well, it's not very nice. Uh, so, I mean, we could spend all day just trying to uh, look at this. Uh, vertical labels, forget that. I didn't like them. Um, let's go ahead and use the show labels anyway. So, all right. So, if I were to look at number seven, which is number eight, I'm sorry, which is from 70 to 80,000, I can display the field statistics. And it would tell me how many transactions were there, what is the minimum value, what is the maximum value. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, you have uh, a standard deviation of three thousand dollars, so give or take. What is the average? If the average is seventy-five, then you have most of the transactions within the same range with, between three and six standard, uh, two and three standard deviations. Um, mostly skewed negatively so it really doesn't say much but i can look at the records if i wanted to look at the records of um contain uh containing this check so, so that i could get a better idea uh, these are cl very close close together you know 7991 i mean i may, may want to look at what are these what, what are these? Like Carrie's Matic is getting all these checks that are structured, you know, very closely, but they're authorized by different people. I mean, I may want to look at Jackie Tup or Toop. Um, nothing in particular that says these are very close to each other. But, you know, this is how you can then look into dates, uh, look at the invoice dates to see if they have about the same information, um, et cetera. So this is what I'm trying to, so go ahead and try to make a, uh, a print screen of this and bring it over so you can show that you were able to um, analyze the profile of the payments, et cetera. Um, you could also save the results. So if you wanted to save this, you could save this into an extraction. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and call this um, results. Uh, we can say uh, strat, um, amounts close to 80. Okay. And then we can close that. Um, and again, we can switch to your um, display as well. We could switch this to different amounts. Uh, so there is basically a significant amount of transactions under the $80,000. And we really want to take a look at that because it, it, it is the, the actual stratum that has the most value. That's basically the conclusion of the exercise wants us to come, come up with. So go ahead and take a print screen of this uh, or the other um, graph and that's it.